this is the main grounds. The W. This entrance leads into the school, where the students are generally picked up and dropped off on a day-to-day -day basis as well, where the Friday transportation is picked up and dropped off as well. And our main school entrance. our main entrance. Constructed in the late 1800s, this is the big house where it's occupied by the superintendent, Mr. David Neal, along with his wife Margot, who works in the, the swimming pool, who yeah, have two children. The big house, the superintendent's house. Mac House, formerly the Assistant Superintendent's House. Students use and take their independent living skills. It is a house program set up in a house situation where the students live independently. Also constructed in the early 1800s. For intermediate residents, formerly the girls' residence, constructed in the early 1900s. It's two floors, bottom level intermediate boys, top level intermediate girls. Inside, going down our intermediate residence from the front. The W. Ross McDonald School is shot from the front view. Our front administration area. This main portion constructed in 1972 the administration with the library as well. Our music wing and our main flag poles. flying the Canadian and Ontario flags. Our lower parking lot. During the daytime. Our music wing from the back end constructed in 1959. To our main school building, the sports complex, gymnasium, and swimming pool areas. And in the distance, we see our senior residence, 
or girls having the upper floor, and guys having the lower floors. This residence building was constructed in 1964, originally the senior boys' residence. The boiler house is located out the back, containing or containing three three giant boilers for the school, as well as a as well as all the power works and air conditioner controls for the main schools for the main school building. Our rear loading dock area, adjacent by our classrooms in the far rear, where most, where most of our teachers generally do park. This is our bus garage where our micro bird and two Ford vans are locked up, as well as our school station wagon locked up over long breaks. well in the distance, the greenhouse for the school, housing many various plants. And in the distance through the trees and sloping windows of the powerhouse. A view of our classroom area containing our science room, Special special education room and our home ec room. Uh, more classrooms and even more classrooms in the main hallway into the maintenance area and pool. As well as the maintenance area. In fact, as you can see in the distance, our opening, which closes the rear. Located behind this door is the bin for the shop. And we're opening to the stock room, which is closed. This is our actual this is our actual loading dock. The stock is brought in. One of the few structure, one of the only structure left of the original Ontario School for the Blind building, the main archway, not in its original location, of course, but the only original structure left from the old school building. Our school bell, donated to us, but originally sitting on the old tower of the old school building and was relocated to the courtyard as a gift of the alumni. A general sweep of our courtyard area. This is the balance of our main school areas. Teacher training room, our offices, and once again, our school bell.